generation. Hollywood studios say $58 billion in movie, TV, and music content is stolen every year, and they want it stopped. So they're backing new legislation aimed at clamping down on piracy. But some of Silicon Valley's tech companies aren't on board. The proposals are a serious attack on the Internet. It has absolutely nothing to do with any attack on the Internet or free speech. It's called the Stop Online Piracy Act. It would force Internet service providers and search engines to cut ties to foreign sites deemed dedicated to piracy by a judge. If you look at what the music industry has suffered and you project that down, down downstream, that you have a sense of what the jeopardy is potentially. The Welcome Motion the Picture Association of America, now headed by former Senator Chris Dodd, says those hardest hit are the blue-collar workers paid by the studios losing money. As a result of cuts to jobs and wages, Hollywood says those employees lose about $16 billion a year. The film and television industry employs 2.2 million people in this country. We generate about 140 to 145 billion dollars in wages. But some Silicon Valley companies fear U.S. sites like YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook will be caught in the dragnet. It imposes so-called technological mandates to try to create filtering obligations and policing obligations and monitoring obligations for the biggest internet companies on the daily activities of their users. By criminalizing links, what these bills do is they force you to take content off the internet. By doing so, it's a form of censorship. The tech industry cites a study by Booz Allen which says if the act is passed, 200 venture capitalists will cut U.S. investments in new technology by more than 80 percent a year. That means that roughly $38 billion a year would be taken off the table in terms of trying to innovate new products and services on the Internet. But Giannopoulos is wary of compromise. His late friend Steve Jobs warned him not to let the piracy that plagued the music industry destroy the film business. When you say, how would you compromise, it's like saying, well, what, would you, what sort of business would you enter into with a thief?